Hey guys and welcome back to God of War 3. In the last part we killed the judges of the underworld and now we're going to break the chain of balance so that we can finally raise the labyrinth and free the flame of Olympus. So now the chain's free and it pretty much destroys the judges even more. I mean they were already dead but now they're downright destroyed. Oh well. So now that the chain is free, we can finally do what we aim to do like 10 parts back or so. He knows Kratos! Zeus knows I've escaped! Hurry! I can hear him! He's near! Please help me, Kratos! Hurry! Oh no. You really never can leave Pandora alone unsupervised. So it's Kratos to the rescue. Pop out the wings and we're flying again. Now we're flying up the same obstacle course we were falling down in the previous part. And there's still meteors. I've stopped trying to figure out who's throwing them since I'm not going to get an answer anyway. But now since we broke the chain the entire tunnel's collapsing with wood and stone fragments falling all around us and the walls caving in and stuff. Oh, that was a lot shorter than uh, the trip down. Weird. So let's get up there and finally get rid of Zeus. Pandora! Pandora! It's all right, Kratos. Remember your purpose, Spartan. Remember why you have come so far. Prepare yourself, Spartan. You know what you must do. I will raise the labyrinth. I will take her where she belongs. Wait, so where's Zeus? Why was she screaming if Zeus was nowhere to be found? Right, so anyway, we're climbing up the chain again. Just as we did when we were chasing after that douchebag Hermes. This game really has a lot of backtracking. It's almost as bad as Metroid Prime. Seriously. That game had a lot of backtracking. And for some reason the game freezes up here. I had to re-record this part like six times because I thought it would it wouldn't work, so this time I just decided to be patient and it started working again. I don't know what the hell that's about. But it's no problem. So we're back up here again, so let's get up the stairs, and then it's time to crank some gears. And if you think you've seen Kratos cause mass destruction already, you ain't seen nothing yet. Just wait until he gets up here, and let the destruction begin. Doesn't look like much now, but just wait a couple of, like half a minute or so, and things will get messy. So the more we turn the crank, the floor turns the other way, and this steel crown that's around the flame of Olympus is slowly descending into the floor, which means we can get to the flame. If only Kratos could push this crank a little harder. There's another case of the differences in Kratos' strength. Like sure he can avoid being crushed between Kronos' hands, but just pushing this crank is too much effort. It's like he should be able to push this thing three times around by just giving it a nudge with his pinky toe, but no, he just has to push it. And Pandora is still on the labyrinth. 
which is starting to move now so I can imagine it be quite scary if you're actually on that thing especially since it's falling to bits now apparently the cave is a little bit too narrow for the entire labyrinth to go through Oh, this is a nice shot. And Kratos just keeps on cranking those gears. And here's more destruction. And... Oh, that was a nice shot back to Kratos. And now the entire floor of the chamber is going to hell. The labyrinth apparently pushes everything up and yeah it causes mass destruction I can imagine that Zeus isn't gonna be that happy about it but now we're done the rooms destroyed the labyrinths destroyed and there's Pandora okay mission successful and she doesn't look too happy guess it was quite the bumpy ride or maybe she's just happy to see your box again so let's find out in an epic cutscene there it is I can see it Kratos in the darkness the fires of hope will set us free Pandora no you know why I'm here you brought me here to do this I oh. will find another way no Kratos there is no other way. Let me go! No child! I am not a child! You're hurting me! <sighs> Kratos, help! Put her down, Zeus! Your obsession with this, this thing has become somewhat of a nuisance, my son. Release the girl, Zeus! Don't confuse this object, this construction of Hephaestus, with your own flesh and blood. What perhaps you already have, Spartan. Your quest for Pandora, your pathetic attempt for atonement from the family you slaughtered, has caused nothing but havoc on Olympus. Look around at what you have done. I see. Only what I have come to destroy. Taking pity on you has been my greatest mistake, Kratos. Just as taking pity on this thing will prove to be your greatest mistake. This has nothing to do with her! It has everything to do with hers! Put her down! As you wish. This is it. This is what Kratos has been longing for all this time. Finally, he will get his revenge on Zeus in the, one of the most epic showdowns I've ever seen in video game. It's pretty much a 2D fight. It's almost like a Street Fighter game. Except good. Seriously, this fight is so incredibly epic. Epic music. Epic moves epic background everything about this game is epic oh that was a nice blow didn't even know he was gonna jump up but I hit him with it anyway oh snap oh that was another nice golden fleece parrying there and apparently he has quite some unblockable moves, which is pretty difficult. And they still have the Cyclops, that's still useless. And just slam him back against the pillar again, and let's whip out the Cestus for a major beatdown. Oh, gotcha, bitch. Combat grapple for the win. Got him again. Where'd he go? God. Oh, there he is. Punch! Oh. Awesome. Yeah, I don't think you can get more epic than this. Oh, 
but he's not quite done yet. So let's bring out the Nemesis Whip since we haven't tried those yet. Whoa, that was a cheap move. So let's use a little Nemesis Rage. Of course, using Lightning against Zeus wouldn't really be that effective. Bow of Apollo doesn't do anything too. Oh, but the combat grapple works. Oh, nice dodge. Oh man, he has a cheap thunder drop move. Uh, it doesn't cause him to flinch the Nemesis Rage, but I'm pretty sure it causes damage. Which is what I need since my health is starting to look pretty bad right now. So let's whip out the claws, maybe try some long range attacks. To just stop kicking my ass. Okay, I'm just gonna go all out with the Blade of Olympus now. Oh, that was it already. Oh yeah, beatdown time. Oh, he's really not gonna be enjoying that Falcon Punch! Oh, that was epic. He punched his skull against the marble so hard the entire pillar is coming down. Wait, how did Pandora end up on that chain? I thought she was on the rock. Did I miss something? Oh well. Now it's time for the epic finale of this game. Pandora! Pandora, no! Stop her, Kratos! Do not let her into the flame! This is what I am meant to do! You know that! Please! Hush! Kratos! This is the only way! Don't listen to her, Kratos. For once in your pathetic life, don't fail. Don't fail her like you failed your family. Sacrificed, it ends in another stunning failure. <laughs> And the cowardly Zeus flees the scene, and I don't think Kratos has ever been as pissed off as he is now. When he's gonna get his hands on Zeus, he is really going to be in for some trouble. I think he's gonna rip Zeus apart with his bare hands. But anyway, I'll see you in the next part of God of War 3, where Zeus finally gets it. See you then.